All right, hey guys, I'm back, and today we're gonna look at using uh, Motion Builder to uh, take our motion capture data um, and match it to a meta human. So over here, this is my uh, skeleton that I export as FBX out of um, Motive uh, using out the track motion capture system, you know, with the suits and dots and everything. I also have the Ma Ma Magus gloves, which were pretty cool. So if you watch, this is just me like pretending to take a selfie and everything, or a, a video. Um, so what I, what did was went ahead and on the first frame it doesn't matter; it could be any frame. Just gotta remember which frame it is. Um, I zeroed out all the joints um, and keyed it. This way, when I match the skeletons together, yeah, the rotations are all zeroed. Um, it should match up without too much effort. So then, um, so okay, so this is the metahuman that you can mess with in Maya. I found that since I'm just um, moving like specific like simple kind of parts of the body that just using the one exported out of Unreal um, did best. That one looks like this. X-ray joints. Uh, as you can see there's no like facial rig or anything. Um, let's get to that one. In our metahumans um, projects. Okay, uh, here's the right file. <laughs> okay, so um, anyways, um, yeah, in metahumans, you have your uh, character. I th believe it's in the commons folder. Commons again. Um, and these are the preview skeletons. I know that mine's a male normal body, not like um overweight or underweight, so not short or tall either. So it should be M for male, med for medium, um, I guess normal weight and body. That looked like this. And this is what we can use to um, match our character with. So you just gotta click on it, it's a skeleton mesh, and I set actions and export. So over in Maya, that's what it looks like after I import it into Maya. I just brought it into here just to check it out. Um, made sure it worked and everything. The other important thing is to make sure the hierarchy is correct. I believe when you do bring it all in from Unreal, it's all like in one folder. I actually like to separate it so we so the root is top and then so on. And I just have to buy separate. It could be I believe it could be in the same folder or parent, but um it doesn't need to be. Just select those two file export selection. Same with this guy, just export this out. Alright, so this is um motion builder. So in Motion Builder, let's go to File, Merge. You can drag and drop things, but sometimes you get a little bit cleaner results doing it this way. Um, let's find our guys. Uh, it's a little messy, sorry about that. Okay, press merge. Let's do that again. Suppose skeleton. Okay. So yeah, we'll just have to take one and then if you can see the guy's moving. Looks good. So what we wanna do, let's expand this real quick. This is our scene, expand that. So 
So this is. So this is a uh, mocap data because that's me. Um, what I'm gonna do is select these guys. I think I can hide them. Um, I can't remember where the hide button is. Move it. Okay. I'll just move it back later. All right. So with my mocap character, um, over here in the asset browser, we're just gonna wrap the character uh, section selection. Select character and drag this onto the hips. And it's a biped. Uh, then you want to go over here on the right side, click on definitions. And it looks good actually. Cool. Alright, um, over here, let's rename it. Uh, mocap data. Okay, now we're going to do the same with this guy. That's pretty good. Anyways, um, okay, expand the root. Okay, pelvis. So we're gonna drag character onto pelvis. Characterize. Okay, so the naming is different because this is from Unreal. All right. So what we got to do is assign all the definitions for it. Um, so the character. Switch it over to the new character. Let's rename this guy uh, Meta. Alright, let's see. So, what we can do is select some of this stuff. So, pelvis, select the pelvis. And let's, uh, let's clear all just in case. Alright, so right click, signs like the bone. So, now the hips is pelvis. Bang these guys. Alright, left thigh, left up leg, assign, calf, sign here, and foot. Luckily this is mirroring on, so that's helpful. Um spine one, assign, expand that. Don't think we need any of those other guys. Expanding clavicles, we have the upper arm left, so assign that to the left arm. Then we have the forearm, the lower arm, expand that, and then the hand, right click, assign. You're gonna get this error because this is an A pose, so we'll just have to fix that in a second. Let's see, now where's the head? Side of the head. Alright, so now it's yellow, that means we just gotta fix the posing. So what we can do is select this arm. Just like clicking left clicking it will let you um it'll give it to you. Alright, so then step raise this up. Yeah, bring this down, you'll get some numbers. So let's see. Let's get this rotate to around zero. Once it's close, it'll um recognize it. Because right now the error is that the arms aren't parallel to the, the x axis. So we just gotta do that. Yeah. 
and then it should be able to fix it for us. And then just gotta bend the elbows. Right, and it's green. That's good. It just Good, cool. I think you just gotta click on that. I'm not really sure. Um, anyways, looks like it's good. And so now we go to. So our character is meta, and the animation's on the mocap data, so we just gotta switch to. Wait, so first meta? So that's a stance. And that way you get the biped option. All right. So now, now it's locked in. All right. So now we have the character. It's a meta human. Select source. Select the mocap data. So now, if we did this correctly, character is matched to the skeleton. Sweet. 